Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brain Scratch Commentaries commentary of Sonic Unleashed. I totally saw your style there, John. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. But that was like three years ago. Give it the time, little Scott. <laughs> <laughs> We're better men now. We're better men. Oh, oh look, it's that thing that point. everybody says yeah. is so cool. Yeah. It is! Oh, I miss you, it is. guy! Why couldn't you come back? Gorgeous I opening is gorgeous. Yeah, I didn't I did hear a word you were saying. I'm just like, god damn, this intro is the greatest thing ever produced by man. <laughs> I can't hear you over the sound of Sonic Falcon punching an army of robots. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't put as much budget into the CG intro as they did here because they realized, eh, we've got a little <laughs> less money to work with. Mr. Okay. Izuka, we wasted all our money on the intro. What do we do? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Is no one going to mention the dream cost in Eggman's cockpit? <laughs> Is no one going to bring that up with, with, with Super Eggman Adventure? He was still hoping for Shenmue 3 at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think the marketing for this game is probably the best marketing a Sonic games had. I mean, did you guys ever see the kind of live action film, like kind of pseudo documentary, like there's something out in the world? Like, and, like, <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. That was <laughs> like, what? <laughs> that was really good. I like that shit. And like, you know, it's, we've said it before, but the most cinematic cutscene. I love this cutscene. I wish I could marry this cutscene. I make sweet love to it every single night. <laughs> One thing I will say about Generations is because of its length, Sega actually released it at less than full price. That's... They took ten bucks off the price, you know. Yeah. To... Ten bucks is ten bucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's more yeah, than Nintendo do. Fuck you! <laughs> hey, that's ten dollars I could use to buy a sandwich. Or a dead or alive character. <laughs> I don't hear nearly the amount of hate for Chip that I used to, but I... nobody really likes him anymore either. I do. Uh, no, I still think he's kind of You don't speak for player. me, Lewis! No, it's just like, when this game came out, came out, it was a war between two sides. The pro-chippers and the anti-chippers. People died. <laughs> that sounds like the world's worst The anime. fuck? <laughs> there were civil wars over this shit, man. When Sonic becomes the werehog, how do his shoes grow spikes? Exactly. Because Dark Gaia. <laughs> Because Eggman. <laughs> no, his shoes don't just grow spikes, okay? His socks go Super Saiyan. Look at them. <laughs> I love this ice cream, okay? The ice cream in this cutscene is still, hands down, the best 3D model I've seen in a video game. <laughs> okay? It's... Does anyone remember when mm -hmm. um, the Japanese version leaked and, like, some people uploaded... Like, like the first few cutscenes, and I remember um, to, to, to avoid it getting like found by Sega, this cutscene in particular was called, and I remember it was, Pessimists Beware, the Ice Cream Will Own You. And I always thought that was, that was a <laughs> hilarious <laughs> title to, to give it. So that's what this cutscene shall now be known as forever of all time. Pessimists Beware, the Ice Cream Will Own You. I, I remember when we were doing this at the panel, everyone just went, oh, at the same time when I was <laughs> thinking, oh, and they wrote me for it. Uh, I, I think I'm actually like, what's this going backwards nonsense, Lewis? <laughs> you didn't need 120 sun medals to get into the final mandatory day stage, which is twice the number that's required for the optional day stage you unlock after beating that day stage. <laughs> what? So... What? Yeah, it, 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 it's, it, it's weird. Exploration, and I think Unleashed... Yeah... Why did you jump over that, Lewis? What was going through your mind? Unleash encourages you to go super fucking fast. Uh, uh, like that. Off a of cliff. Why? Watching it at the uh, panel, I would I would occasionally look over at MBM, who they, like, he like speed runs, and he just had this look of disgust at this run of the level. <laughs> <laughs> Mario sad. Ice cream, no bueno. Sonic, what happened? Yoink. Mr. Fantastic! <laughs> hey look, I ripped off another Sega franchise. Now it's mine. <laughs> so uh, at this point, the Werehog doesn't know he has stretchy arms. So what was Sonic hoping to accomplish standing like 100 feet away, just holding his arm out? <laughs> Ice cream, what no! Was what was his end game there? <laughs> yeah. Maybe he thought he was a Jedi and he could force pull out <laughs> <laughs> I also... Welcome back to the Sonic Unleashed commentary and we're playing the first Werehog level. Oh boy, oh boy. Boy, I can't even joke enthusiasm about this. Uh, Louis, okay. could we do part one again? <laughs> <laughs>
Lewis, not just that, it also brings in the I like that song level. for the first two worlds. <laughs> the first two worlds. You know what? It, it's like I I know that you're pausing the game for the quick time events to buffer so you can know what button to press. <laughs> but I can't help but think that you're also thinking that's your door and you're constantly pausing the game to go answer it. <laughs> oh wait, that's what he's doing. Whenever a quick time event shows up on screen, and I do this for the entire game, straight oh. up through Eggman Land. <laughs> just but you know, I have a I have a way of accidentally killing enemies before they get to that point. So <laughs> Oh, yeah. I killed it by accident. <laughs> yeah. We praise like um when the frame rate works well, like the graphics look great and the, the lighting system, mwah, it's a thing of beauty. The one thing where they kind of drop the ball in um some respect it, thank you for that. It's it's the sound effects. The sound effects are the most stock yes. cheap sound effects. <laughs> and he plays the exact same thing. Sound effect they put yeah. half in the bag whenever they throw something off screen and it breaks. Yeah, I was like, about to say that. Johnny <laughs> uses that sound effect in his reviews. <laughs> it, yeah. really, it really throws me out of it. Yeah, 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 I, and I made fun of it earlier, but again, the QTE sound effect is a fucking doorbell. <laughs> you know, it's like, what the hell? Come on, you guys could have synthesized something unique for that. <laughs> I mean, it's the exact same sound for every <laughs> single bar. They don't have, like, multiple ones. It's the same <laughs> I thought it was made of putty. No, it's glass. <laughs> Lewis, you ruthless motherfucker, that monster just wanted to hide in a corner and wait until you left. But no, you gotta kill all of them, you, you... Well, the door wouldn't open until we killed them all. I like how Lewis was talking about you have, to, you have to play the game the way it was intended, as he's pausing every six seconds to cheat the quick time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but then they added all these elements where you're not in motion, you know? Like this. Well, yeah. What is this? You know what, what this is? is? You know what this is? It's art, motherfucker. Hashtag, at least it's art. <laughs> Now get that door, would you? Christ. <laughs> Pizza delivery. I Again? Touched on the <laughs> I, I, have, I have no problem with, with a game based around that. I have an issue when you, you do it with Sonic the Hedgehog and, and you start him off not fast. Because yeah. that's, kind of, that's kind of like, he's his only thing. It's like, having, it's like having a Mario game where you have to earn the jump. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You know, it's like, what the you fuck? Need, you need 6,000 experience points to jump. <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> And then it snap, and then it yanks itself. Oh, for fuck's sake, that was supposed to be a stealth kill. <laughs> give me a hug, you son of a bitch. You give me a stealth kill tutorial, and then you can't even let me stealth kill your fucking robot. No, it's a trap. <laughs> the best thing about those robots, the egg fighters specifically, is if you get them on the ground when they're about to die, they enter into this kind of um dying animation where they kind of fall on their knees, put their arms and goes, "Oh God, why the pain?" <laughs> if you keep if you keep hitting them. That animation will reset, so you, yes. can pro so you can prolong their pain for hours. I've done it. It's incredibly, it's incredibly rewarding. We gotta get a move on. <laughs> no, I have to make this one robot suffer. <laughs> Heck, man, why did you program me to feel pain? <laughs> and and yeah. part, part of me kind of prefers that, in a way. I, I think the fans are barking at you, Gareth. But, Good. Um... <laughs> I wish as shit! <laughs> You know what? I wish got better reviews than the HD version. Suck it, bitch! Oh my god. I stopped caring about the experience points and I just resorted to the Wentos trick to get experience points for the Werehog. What the heck's the Wentos trick? He can sell items to you, and sometimes at a discount. So, it's... You can you can buy items from him and then sell it to other shopkeeps for a profit. So you can buy food at bulk and just feed it to uh, Sonic. 99 you can, chili dogs. You can get... Oh, no, yeah, you can get 99 <laughs> chili dogs. <laughs> Sonic's a mess that weekend. <laughs> but when he wakes up that morning, his werehog is up to max. It's like, oh shit. It's like, I think those were chili dogs may be illegal, Sonic. Because you play, like, day level, night level, day level, night level in sequential order, Sonic probably hasn't slept in, like, two weeks by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> was, was Professor Pickles just tied to the plane on a piece of string while he's flying through all this? <laughs> well, yeah, you say that, but imagine, okay, just Sonic throwing Professor Pickle over his shoulder and then boosting across the ocean. Just like Elise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just that when we finally get to our destination, we have Professor Pickle's body, and but Professor we lost his head somewhere after all the G-Force. No, just well, does, like does Elise. Professor Pickle create a uh, pickle shield that yes! you from <laughs> <laughs> I think the most Stuff like that makes me appreciate the, the world building in Unleashed more than, say, any other Sonic game. Has Too bad I don't care. <laughs> 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 Ryan, you heartless swine! <laughs> I will say this, this gave us one of the greatest characters in, in Sonic history, Professor Pickles' aid. 
And a whole pack of robots! <laughs> Love that guy. Jason Griffith's best performance. Give him an Oscar. Give him a fucking Oscar for that guy. Yeah, it's amazing. It, it, the thing though is in this cutscene that the aid is very clear like, it was a little bit before the tremors hit. But there's this kind of scene coming up where he's dancing with him and he goes, let's dance the night away, babe. It was like, it's, it's almost like Jason forgot what voice he was doing for that character. <laughs> Isn't that the werehog? No, that, that, that's, <laughs> Professor, that's Professor Pickle's aid. <laughs> is that oh. the werehog? Professor Pickles aid while drunk. I, I, I have to say though, just uh, I, you know, when I when I when I interviewed him, I did ask him if he remembered Professor Pickles aid. He looked at me like I was insane. Like, what are you talking about? I have no, What are you talking about? That, that, that is not a character I've I've played. You idiot! Get out of here. <laughs> well, let me just update your IMDb page. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the commentary on Sonic Unleashed and. Slow, come on, come on. We're we're we're, we're Sonic. We're, we're Sonic for about three more seconds, and then it's going to be another fucking Werehog level. I thought it was day level, night level, day level, nope. night level. Nope. No. I wish. Well, no, tr I wish truly day level, day level, day level, day level, day level, <laughs> day level, day level, but... I wish I was playing Sonic Generations, is what I wish, <laughs> but, um... We had to get to this game eventually. We've been planning it for about six years now. <laughs> for me, in terms of the level design, it's a bit too real world. Sonic games have always had a element of the, like, fantastical and surreal. Yeah, surreal. Yeah. Are you saying that New uh, San Francisco doesn't actually have loop-de-loop -loop highways? <laughs> <laughs> Ted, have a drink. Radical highways a lie, Ted. There's some collectibles. Here. It's a shame there's no British level to have the British person do that, but oh well. Quite. <laughs> No, the British level would just be a whole bunch of people sitting around and acting politely the entire okay, time. Okay, uh, there is no British <laughs> level. And what there is in this game is Spagonia, yeah. which is Europe land. It's yeah. like Europe. Everything about Europe in a mishmash. We get rooftop run, motherfuckers. What do you guys get? Empire City. Good for you. I like Empire City. It's kind of like Spagonia is, uh, is Europe... From the view of an uneducated American person, it's like so just Europe, American is, person, Europe is just you. one country. <laughs> hey man, we... and all it has is Big Ben. Hey man, you're just you're just you're just jealous that we left you. All right. <laughs> well, no, it, 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 it's just kind of funny saying because if you were to speak to the average person, what's in America? You got Texas. New York and California, <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> well, okay, but to be fair, everything in between the East Coast and West Coast kind of doesn't matter a little bit. I'm just well, there's some there's a Midwest stuff in there, but that's about it. <laughs> that's that's how that's how that's how our map. Minnesota's West Coast, nice, East Coast, and people. some Midwest stuff. Minnesota <laughs> is nice. It's got good people. <laughs> Minnesota. The <laughs> Ohio is necessary because both uh, Jason Griffith. Sonic the Hedgehog and Ryan Drummond, previous Sonic the Hedgehog, both came from Ohio. So about Ohio, we wouldn't have these actors. So you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? We're at the space. Big fucking deal, right? One guy voice like one. <laughs> well, you know what? what? You know who cares if people went to space and you know got pictures of Pluto? These two guys voiced the cartoon Blue Hedgehog. Alright? Much more important. Very wait a minute. Whoa, 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 Lewis, Lewis, wait there. Ted, Ted, this cross. Oh, oh god. This cross is just too late. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you, Hyrule Warriors! <laughs> is, it, is it sad that I was thinking that too the moment we got a close up on the grass? Well, you see, I like listening to the battle theme by itself. Yeah. It's just not you seven know, to fifteen times in the same fucking level. My, my wife got halfway through this game, got fed up with the battle theme, and sold it. She was like, "I can't take that <laughs> fucking music Fuck anymore." Sonic. <laughs> Go back to Mario Galaxy. She did. She literally, she literally traded it in for Mario Galaxy and never looked back. <laughs> you know, sometimes I feel like I'm the only person who's completely unenthusiastic about Sonic music. Like the vocal, so the, the vocal song specifically, like I really could. Well, that's because you don't have a soul. Lewis, Lewis, you're a commentator of a video game channel. You can't say that. You crazy <laughs> man. You're gonna lose the views. It de it depends <laughs> on the song because I don't go out of my way to listen to like believe in myself too often. You heartless monster. Wait, wait. Which version? SA1 or SA2? Either, really. You heartless monster. <laughs> Lewis, if you're ever going on a long car ride, play Sonic music. Like play the SA1 or oh, yeah. SA2 soundtracks. It is. Fantastic driving music. After Momocon, when we were driving back to Ohio, we were playing 
escape from the city as you were leaving Atlanta. This is gonna happen, lads, quickly, we're gonna escape from the city! <laughs> and then you, like, mash the gas pedal when he gets to the gun, when he gets to the gun truck sequence. Oh, oh god! Man. I'm actually really annoyed right now because uh, my car is kind of old, so in order to listen to my iPod, I need to have one of those set things that you can put in. <laughs> I, and, oh, yeah, god. Yeah, but, that, but mine's broken, so I'm really, uh, really annoyed. Because now I have to sucks. listen to the radio and... Uh, <laughs> the radio, the radio doesn't play, it doesn't matter, I say one version, damn you! <laughs> I love when you pick up these enemies. It's it's like you're it's like he's being a bratty little kid, and you're you're picking him up so that he'll leave Chuck E. Cheese and go home. Yeah, the werewolf's an absolute bully when it comes to the dark Gaia creatures. You grab two of those little fuckers together, and you just smash them together. It's like, where's my fucking lunch money, you yeah. prick? That is not yeah. physically possible. <laughs> Ted, Ted, his arms stretch. Right, he's a fucking hedgehog. No, with stretchy he pushed arms. it. He pushed it up the. the there was a gap. It, that no. <laughs> but after. Uh, 25 years of gaming, I am so sick of box puzzles. Dude, you do not know the true horror of relentless box puzzling until you've played Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Dude, I know, right? Like, like, that's the game. That's the game that was like, I, wa I want to love this game. But what is with every time Razio goes into a different fucking builder, there's like a thousand boxes he has to move around. <laughs> right? He's a, a part-time worker U-Haul. It, 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 it was it, in the in the Legacy of Kane fanfiction community, the humor genre specifically. There was a running joke that Raziel was just terrified of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, 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 I've murdered my brethren. I've killed my family, but fuck those boxes, freak me out. <laughs> Can I also say one more thing? Uh, considering it's this playthrough is like 19 parts, I kind of feel like you're going to be saying a lot more, <laughs> one more thing. So just, I, just keep adding. After every fight. <laughs> like, I, but, you, but, oh, you died. Oh, God. Whoa. I, I don't even know what hit me there. How but, did you uh, lose to egg fighters, dude? I don't know, okay? <laughs> I, like I said, I don't know what hit me there. Life. It was like a fighting game, double KO. The, um... <laughs> Life. He just realized, Sonic's like, what is my life come to? Fuck this. <laughs> but yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, Sonic can just homing, homing attack these enemies once and beat them. So, like, the Werehog's supposed to be the strong one. He's actually just weaker than normal Sonic. Because he has to beat right. the yeah, shit out. Yeah, that, that, that was a point of contention I brought up for a few things that people brought up that, well, in Sonic's daytime levels, you're blasting through them at 300 miles per hour. I was like, yeah, I get that, but I can also approach these egg robos in the hub worlds, just bop them on the head, and there you go, they're dead. It's like, no. Sonic gets weaker when he transforms into the werehog. <laughs> I would say that's more obvious with Adventure 1, not 06. Well, yeah, because again, in Adventure 1, they literally, like, if you watch the cutscenes, you'll see the same animations. Yeah, they repeat. Over all the time. Oh, I, Sonic, where Sonic goes, ah, and his spikes go like, Voop. I <laughs> love that. You know, you know, it's weird, though, that the most original piece of animation that, that's never reused again is, is, ironically, the first thing we see Sonic do, he goes, oh, yeah, this is happening. That's, like, the only time we see his arms moving that way. But then they ran out of money. <laughs> we flew on the first cutscene, damn you, Eugene <laughs> Welcome back to the Sonic Unleashed commentary, and we're playing Day Stages this part. I can actually be enthusiastic. Hooray! Hooray! I hate it. It's just a pet peeve of mine, but I hate it when I when I end up close to getting like the next milestone number in anything. I've got 897 rings, I'm just three rings away from 900. <laughs> um. Okay, so I have a question. So if Eggman actually did blow up the world with the Eclipse Cannon in Sonic Adventure 2, would it have released Dark Gaia? Um. It wasn't just that he blew up the planet, but that he shot Chaos Energy directly into Dark Gaia. Well, isn't that what the Arc Cannon fired? Yeah, the, the arc cannon just sort of fires a laser. <laughs> but it needed the chaos almost to fire it. But the uh, the arc doesn't drain the emeralds of its um, chaos power because you know when they use one emerald to bl to blow up half the moon, right? That doesn't affect. Oh, well, it, it takes six emeralds. Oh, so, okay, six to blow up the moon. Actually, but yeah. like, so it, uh, all right, then SA two dork. But um, like, it doesn't. <laughs> it, the chaos emeralds are supposed to be an infinite source of power. Yeah, but uh, that's but, what I'm saying. Yeah. Obviously, they're being used as a power source, which means they're being drained. Uh, no, kind of, I guess. No, it doesn't make any sense otherwise. Otherwise, what, they're just decoration? <laughs> they do look pretty. Yeah, it's like, we can't fire the cannon at full power if all seven emeralds are not here. It won't look right. <laughs> the kid threw a rock at Eggman, and I like the metallic sound effect it created, so Eggman is secretly a Terminator. Uh, uh, <laughs> I and part of me thinks that maybe, you know, Knuckles... Nice job there, IGN. Um, it, 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 makes me, it makes me think that just... Um, <laughs> 
stuff that the um, Sonic characters. Ugh, really bullshit. Yeah. Not like Shadow or Knuckles would have had much to do in this game anyway. No, but you know what? I can understand Shadow sort of being in Empire City because he works for GUN. But uh, what would Knuckles be doing there? Uh, protecting the master. <laughs> <laughs> Unknown from NYC. It's where he goes to practice his rap songs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's working on his new album, Unknown from NYC. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it an Empire City that check out a 100 P concert. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, Hashtag 300 P. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I recall correctly, the Missouri Daytime music is a remix. The ending credits theme, of all things, oh, from the 8 bit see, Sonic I 1. I don't see a connection, again, between credit sequence and we're running around like Africa like I don't I don't get that myself <laughs> uh -huh. maybe he just thinks Africa is the credit reel of the world <laughs> what the fuck it ends where it began oh, you know. it, it ends where it began Johnny wasn't that the plot of Resident Evil 5 yeah <laughs> I guess but in terms of, of, of the logic of this road this is, is a never-ending road. Yeah. How did they get on here? How would they get away from this they thing? Were, they were building a they were building a Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform track. <laughs> and they, they did have a boss fight here for some reason. I fucking love that. This was it's just this very flat. The game track. was delayed by two years. But then this but fucking then this hate, track man. was the Wii version had like little challenge well, challenge and massive air quotes. Hey, that, some of them were that, that freaking don't break pots. It, wasn't that forget. actually Secret Rings? No, it, there's another one in Unleash, and it's annoying as shit in the Wii version. <laughs> Don't break pots. Poor Link, man. <laughs> I'm in hell. What do you even get for this? Your reward is a is a specific hot dog that's that's unique to the to the uh to the area, and basically you want to eat those because they give you experience points. What if you give them to the Chip? Chip? Yeah. If you give it to Chip, he'll say something about hot dogs, and you make them more. Closer to being your friend. He I'll reacts, love he it. Reacts Yum. Closer. I'll explain. <laughs> I'll explain how chip and food works next part. Okie dokie. I can't wait. Welcome back to the Sonic Unleashed commentary, and as I promised last part, I'm going to explain how chip and fish. Chip, fish, and chips. Fish and I chips. love it. Uh, well, in this case, one of the food items is fish, but chip and food. Before patches were applied to this game, if you fed chip too much food, it would cause the game to crash. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, it's no, no, Sonic. You just run through the space time continuum. <laughs> I'm gonna blow. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Am I gonna blow up? No, first if it'll I go to one more maple, I'm gonna uh, die. Get... But one thing that I wouldn't miss if they were to... I have no uh, idea what happened there. I I mean, why adventure. did you leave that I in? Did... Who edited this playthrough, Ryan? <laughs> um, this level... <laughs> what the fuck was that? You didn't have boost Amazing. power. Uh, yeah, you got uh, boost power. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I was, um, if you speak with people in the uh, hardwood of Alaska, there's this woman who keeps talking about. How someone smashed our sled. Who would yes, do such a thing? Yes, I was gonna say thing? it's like so. Someone took our bob sled. That was in a thousand pieces. Who would do such a thing? <laughs> how is that man not frozen? <laughs> He's fine. Why are we Lewis, buying shit, Lewis? Why are you buying shit? Yeah, you asked the question I was about to answer. <laughs> okay, by giving those souvenirs to Professor Pickle, you'll occasionally get sun and moon medals. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, he's holding them back, bastards, like those damn Tanukis in Sunshine. <laughs> um, Tanu Tanukis are even worse, though. So. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. I do want to demonstrate a side mission or two. What? Breaking boxes? No, like the extra. <laughs> no, the extra acts. All of them, or are you no, just handling a few? I'm not, because most of them are completely fucking worthless. But that, that, that's the hub world. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> not the main Wimmel Isle film. I like it. Yeah. Fuck. This. Like, oh, okay. So I thought I thought Lewis is made of air and he's deflating. Yeah, I was like, who, who popped up? <laughs> well, is, no, no. You know what? Fuck this level. Ugh. I like the graphics. It's you don't boost in this stage. You don't boost but, at all. But, Just, but, yeah. do but not John, boost. you gotta go fast. Yeah, I know you gotta go fast. But stop going no, look, so fucking look, fast. Look, look at that misfire. What was that? <laughs> what the? Fuck you see, was... that's what happens when you go fast. Lewis, you what? said you said not to home an attack, but you home an attack. What are you doing? No, I said not to boost. Come on. The homing attack <laughs> is something on, that you're guys. supposed to be able to trust. Oh, and look at that. You Did you see metal? that metal? Did you see Yeah, that, that metal's a pure dick. And you know what? Getting through that level is fine, okay? I can get through that level. Trying to get all the stuff. The stuff. Get the stuff. <laughs> Try getting the stuff. Get the stuff. Three get the stuff. Get the stuff. Sonic Unleashed. Kiss my <laughs> ass. 
So I think what Lewis is trying to say that he really enjoyed that level. <laughs> so uh, aren't there? There are a few like. <laughs> <laughs> that was straight up Sonic hell? Heroes <laughs> bullshit. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Also, I always buy a broiled abanga because look at that thing. It looks fucking delicious. I don't know what an abanga is, but <laughs> but I want to eat it. I want to put it in my some, mouth. Damn it! It looks like that big leg of red meat that Fred Flintstone would eat. It's yeah, but like, uh, his father also died at a ripe old age of 38. <laughs> Well, that's Stone Age standards, okay? 38 is really good for cavemen. <laughs> yeah, you if you were a caveman, you'd actually be going through your midlife crisis right about now, John. <laughs> actually, more accurately, I'd be going through my midlife crisis right about now. Oh, God, what am Brontos. I doing with my life? <laughs> I gotta get a new Brontosaurus. This specific mission, I want to Does it have to stuff, too? Off. The key to getting through this without pulling your hair out is to not drift. And to not boost. boost. yeah. And to basically not do anything that makes this game fun. <laughs> Stop having the fun only time you But when you start to drift in this game, it's more like you start sliding away from the direction you're turning. Well, I think it, it in some weird way, you get a slight boost of speed when you drift in this game. I, I come to that conclusion because I often see speedrunners in Unleashed constantly drift in place. Oh yeah, they what they'll do is the same thing that, that, that they'll do in old Mario Kart games, they'll snake. And you know what, that makes speed runs of this game really fucking annoying to watch because you're just hearing Woo! 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 No, it's like Sonic is breakdancing down the racetrack. Yeah, he's having a gay old time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was, that, one of the, was the choice options, I'm gonna eat you? I, that, that, uh, so the one time that's that Amy doesn't recognize Sonic uh, <laughs> is when it's actually Sonic. Yeah, it's kind of a double standard here, Sonic. <laughs> now at this point, they're just making fun of her. It's a self-parody moment. <laughs> I, I do also, I do like the moment that that it kind of upsets him that she doesn't recognize him. Yeah. I, I do like that. I think that's a nice little touch. And now he realizes he's such an obnoxious twit yeah. that if he didn't have Amy chasing after him, he'd never get a girlfriend. So <laughs> hey, now hey, he's hey, sad. hey, Madonna. <laughs> Madonna and Elise say hello. Yeah, like, I mean, fuck this kid. Elise doesn't this girl doesn't exist. recognize that, me. That, that... Oh, yeah, we wrote Elise out of the timeline. <laughs> Until yeah. generations, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome back to the Sonic Unleashed playthrough. And... Dear God, enthusiasm. Holy crap, yeah. we were going straight up RPG, breaking into someone's house and taking their VHS. Yeah, yeah that, that's where, like, all the secrets in this... <laughs> Not a very good moniker. The, the VHS bandit. It's I after your smell the Home Alone sequels. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but, 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 what takes the... Remix! <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yeah, it'd be like a Jeff Goldblum rap song right there. That's chaos theory. But, um... <laughs> oh, the only good mo monsters better go break into a place. <laughs> The You're not thing. safe here. The Great not. wall. Oh god, I'm gonna kill whoever installed those fences in this fucking town. <laughs> okay. Here's the cutscene. Look at that. Look at that way, babe. Look at Dr. Pickle's <laughs> aid. Amy's literally just twirling for no reason. Yeah, reason. why is she twirling like that? Twirling, it's not twirling. it's not Dr. Pickle's aid that's twirling her like that. Like she looks top. drunk, actually. Professor Pickle, he has no MD, alright? Eggman <laughs> worked for his doctorate, damn it. Professor Pickle did nothing. <laughs> feel expected to do it even if you don't necessarily want to is more what i'm what i'm getting at it's just like there's a people there i think i i guess i gotta talk to them i overcame that compulsion halfway through final fantasy 8 my first rpg ever you know why because the npcs in that game are fucking boring um well some of us played good rpgs for their first rpg ever lewis <laughs> like sonic chronicles <laughs> uh gareth sit down have a drink <laughs> okay <laughs> This part. Fuck this part. This metal. This oh. fucking metal. This uh, you, uh, already. It's fixed camera platforming without a drop shadow. And you know what? This is where the Werehog's fucking slippery as fuck tag controls really screw you in the, in the ass. And I have no idea how I made that on my first try, but I did. And that makes me... <laughs> and, and you know what? It's funny because every time I want to record something... Okay, this, I'm going to panic when I get to this part of the commentary. That's going to be hilarious. I just coincidentally, by sheer dumb luck, get it at the first try. And then you walk through in between springs and die in the first level of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lewis, it, it's weird how you said that, but early in, in the part we saw you literally just walk off the edge. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Which I want to say, Jason Jason Griffith's werehog water screaming is hysterical. It sounds like his arm is being torn off. It's amazing. No, his testicles are getting twisted. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the first thing I think of whenever I hear the werehog screaming in this game is Goku. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, do you show off? Do you E rank any um, level? No. Oh, okay, so we have to say the um. The uh, Tokyo Philharmonic Orchestra is the one who does the um, he did the, the, the music for the um, opening cutscene and the World Adventure that will play over the ending credits. If you um, if you fail a level or get an E rank, it plays like this purposely bad version of the World Adventure, where like, everyone's <laughs> off, not on off key. It's amazing. It's like one of the funniest things <laughs> ever. <laughs> it is. It's like. <laughs> 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 It's worth getting an E rank at least once just yeah. to hear it. Yeah. Uh, Lewis, use your shield, damn it. <laughs> we have a shield. <laughs> I have a shield. I have a shield. <laughs> I like how Sonic just literally punched this bird in the crotch. You know, this would be epic if we didn't see the pause screen every five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, normally I would say pausing won't save you, but apparently in this case it does. So. This isn't yeah. a lek man, Lewis. Knock it off. No, no. Do you, do you don't pause buffer door in the section of the age group, do you? Because that's going to really take us out of it. <laughs> Oh Point. god, Lewis, please, Lewis, please don't tell me during when you fight Dark Guy and you have to smash the A button 60 times. You don't pause after every single one of those. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. I love this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh god, you got really colorful all of a sudden, dude. It's amazing what a suplex would do to you. I like that added detail that was there for that cutscene where Chip, like, just runs into Sonic's back. And then he attempts to swipe him while simultaneously talking to the guy while walking towards him. You know, that's secondary jokes. I like that. I like Very how his mustache between. droops. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's not even facial hair. It's like some sort of insectoid antenna mm. with a lot of hair on it. It makes you wonder, though, when his mustache droops, is it more like, I forgot the cast emeralds, or thank God he's out of the picture? Because he forgot about the emeralds. He sees them fly off, so he's like, yeah. oh, oh, shit. And, shit. Then, and then he goes into a rage. I was gonna say quickly, who do you like? What do you guys think of of Ergo slash Sass, like compared to Orbot? He's just given these kind of like generic, you know, like the the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Nobody likes a whiner. You know, like, <laughs> 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 that, that dialogue's really quite funny. Welcome back to the Sonic Unleashed playthrough, and now that we're done Dragon Road Night, well, uh. You gonna go to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Daytime Sonic again. I think I transform, hey! goes from the Werehog to, to the regular Sonic, and he just follows up with a smile. He's like, eh, hey, no biggie. <laughs> I think I get a little cardiac arrest in there, but I'll walk it off. <laughs> I like Dr. Milk Man. Dr. Milk I Man. am the Milk Man. My <laughs> is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Milk Man. That's what I am. I am the Milk Man. I've got a dairy plan. plan. <laughs> <laughs> I like that she goes, what a scoop! <laughs> like a 1950s paparazzo. <laughs> Brenda, I need pictures. Pictures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Brah. <laughs> <laughs> what a scoop! <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, paparazzo. <laughs> really executed very poorly, kind of edgy. Fuck which, that bike. Which, <laughs> now, that saying, now that I'm saying it, but after Sonic Generations, I just can't go back to this incarnation of it. Where are the balloons? Where are the balloons? <laughs> Where were the guillotines? No, no you know, the balloons. I haven't played this version of the level. But uh, how was the, the unweashed version? Uh, it's, it's okay. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's if you're loading up the Wii to play Sonic, you're putting colors in. <laughs> the core difference on Rooftop Run HD, you're running on the rooftops. And on the Wii version, you're on the ground the entire time, on the oh, city so it, so, so floor. Oh, so it's sidewalk run. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Sonic Unleashed commentary. And I have 69 moon medals. I wonder if by part 18, Lewis would just be in a drunken slur. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to get the wall jump shoes so that I could come back here and get the air dash shoes. Hold yeah. on, if these are different pairs of shoes, doesn't that logically mean that you would only be able to perform one of these uh, tasks at a time without Sonic? He's wearing all the shoes at the same yeah, time. time. Sonic's the kind of guy so who wears six so layers like, of socks. Where's the soap shoes, Dad? I love this stage. To this day, one of my favorite Sonic stages of all time, and it starts with a completely straight line. I, I will I will <laughs> say that the draw, distance, the draw distance is very impressive. I care about an entire game being gray. Fuck this fucking 
There we go. I managed to get back. It's really a level in the game to have uh, an honest to god 3D O oh, platform. The fuck sequence. was that? <laughs> this is really obnoxiously placed metal, and I'm not gonna boost because oh. boosting killed me. Okay, but here. You need to do this. Oh. <laughs> the fuck would? Why would you do that? Look at that, look at that, sun metal. I have to go back and get the sun metal because it's a fucking sun metal and I need as many of those fucking things as I can get. I gotta crash bandicoot this bitch and suicide until I get it. <laughs> or you can just hit the boost pad and yeah. it'll launch you right towards it. Oh yeah, you don't have yeah. the light speed dash when you start in th this game, I, I noticed. You don't have it yet. You get it in You're doing Shamar. the Wii version! Yeah, why you do you- that, why, are they, why do they give it to you so fucking late in the game? Previous to this, the light speed dash was always the first thing you got. Like, I yes, think- Yes, Sonic game. Uh, I've noticed- <laughs> I no, don't. I can save myself. I can still save myself. I can still save myself. Whoops! <laughs> Lewis, I, I, I applaud you for that good. Sir. That was well done. Oh, look, look, I didn't know about this. Yeah, this in this side thing that just yeah. takes you to the end this of the section. This isn't falling. It's flying. It's flying. It's falling with style. It, it's Did like, you just it, say this like, isn't falling? It's flying with style. Ted. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's, it. Ted was saying that Professor Pickles' aide was the only other person who uh, didn't have a name in this game. Actually, Ice Cream Guy doesn't have a name either. I said that. Don't don't credit Ted for my comments. Oh, it was you? Yeah, I'm yeah. Not I'm not. I'm not worthy Oops. of being uh, credited at, for the Almighty Garant Springs. Ted no longer has a name. He is now known as Long Hair Guy. <laughs> okay, then, okay then, Jufro dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. The the, the robot go in reverse, hit Sonic, and then die as a result of that? Yes. That's not what it looked like. Yo, Sonic's spines are sharp. <laughs> well, I was boosting at the time, so, yeah. Oh, shit! Um, he's behind us! Fuck! <laughs> I hate playing games with a guy. It, it, it takes all the fun out of it for me. I you're don't... saying it made you scratch your brain? Ah. It, it, it Who invited it... this man? <laughs> no, it, it makes it I brain... don't even like HFC! <laughs> In fact, you know what? No. And it took me a year to record because I kept procrastinating about it, because I didn't want to go back to it. Yeah, it's 19 30-minute parts that, by the way, take about two or three hours to render. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, let's, you, let, let's break that. 48 hours of rendering time. We sacrifice for you people, you do realize. <laughs> while, while the computer's rendering out these parts, you can't do jack. Like, even, I even use, trying to browse the internet chugs. <laughs> I, I, I use my computer How to do... How bad is your, is your laptop? I use my computer... The only <laughs> thing, in my mind, more tedious than the rendering process is this fucking level. Let's get back on topic. <laughs> this fucking level. I hate... I hate Halaska Knight. I hate this I love this level. level. It, features, it features my favorite Pokemon, Poddywoo and Fire Poddywoo. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, no, don't give them ideas. Game Freak will actually... <laughs> okay, you know what? Involve these Poliwhirl robots that you can pick up, carry around, and then use as flamethrowers. And it's actually vaguely satisfying the first two times you do it. Um, that That's they, right, you, Sonic. They, Burn you can, them. You, you can Burn use, them all. You, you can use the flamethrower robot as, as a weapon against other robots. And it, it's kind of fun watching them run around like headless chickens on fire uh but you know yeah. sonic doesn't look like he's on fire he just looks like he's got uh, he just looks like he's going the into kaioken shield. mode <laughs> yeah <laughs> they brought back the flame shoot for sonic 3 i'm so happy <laughs> you guys are excited over some no, it, it's shit. not it's not the flame shield what it is is the stupid fire power up from gex under the gecko where you're just on fire and gex is screaming that he's on fire i'm flaming in the manly way Oh good, someone else has played the game, I can die happy now. <laughs> I, I played more of, um, the third one, so, but... It's really awkward in the final cutscene where they have, like, the live woman on a bed and the, kind of, PlayStation-era CG of Gex <laughs> <laughs> in the same frame. It's now funny. give me a hug! <laughs> Did you ever you know, see the advertisement, the magazine advertisement where, where Gex she's is naked? Yeah, Gex, she's yes. topless and Gex is covering her chest. It's like, it's like <laughs> Yes! What? So I was like, what the fuck? But I gotta tell you, people, like, dread... Doing commentary or let's play over Sonic Unleashed because they get bored because so many damn Werehog levels. Not us. <laughs> we got that covered. No. <laughs> that's why I mean, like, that's that's why when Clement when he did his OP, he was like, I can't stand these levels. I'm gonna bring in somebody with every single <laughs> Werehog level, you know? Yeah. Well, it's a good thing that we've never even pretended to to stay on topic because <laughs> stay on topic, stay on topic. No. Yeah. At this point, we might as well just be doing a Gex commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Lewis, just take this footage and place it over the first level of Gex 2, and it'll be fine. It'll be <laughs> it, it, it's too bad, because I, I kind of... You know what I love about these robots, though? They they insist on staying in their own position before they attack again. They literally pirouette their way back 
back to where they were. Originally That's were. adorable. They dance. <laughs> they, they, they ballerina their way back to their original position, and sometimes the pathfinding is so awful that they wind up pirouetting in circles <laughs> and just like. Uh, I thought it would pirouette right off a cliff. That was the lamest peachish slide ever. I don't mind that. <laughs> this is the boss I was talking about. Where for some reason on the Wii version. This thing bleeds like a motherfucker when you attack it. For some, for some reason, it just spurts green blood. God knows why. Wait, you know, did that that, that 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 canister just flew because the planet needed it? Oh, I can't climb and carry the canister. You know, you got stretchy arms. Why can't you just carry the canister with one arm, stretch your arms in an arc, and just throw it right in his fucking face? Yeah. I, I want answers. Why can't I just stretch my way to Eggman and punch him? Yeah. <laughs> Let's stretch him. <laughs> the other thing. Well, hold on, you're a werehog, not Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> the other Why are we <laughs> fighting chaos again? <laughs> <laughs> I like how one of the alternate names for the tornado was the Love Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which says more about Tails than Sonic, actually, <laughs> if I think about it. <laughs> Welcome back to the Sonic Unleashed commentary, and. Fuck my life. <laughs> we did at not one point did you say fuck my life at the start of a Sonic Boom part. So by the transient property, I you was think more this game is worth making fun Boom. of a Lewis's dialect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Welcome back to Sonic Unleashed. We hate our lives and all of you. Yeah, nothing matters. <laughs> well, it, it did. It did take us six years to get to this game. <laughs> Yeah, remember when we started and this was the most recent Sonic game and we were going to do it, like, soon? One of them is a record player, and the other is... A... I love how Sonic, I love how Sonic just walked into that chest and exploded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said yeah. that in, sp in Rooftop Run, you could easily get, like, over a, a thousand Over rings. a thousand rings in one run. Yeah, that yeah. just sounds obscene, like... It sounds... It sounds beyond obscene by classic game standards. Oh, please, but... you guys haven't played Sonic Runners. <laughs> classic I don't game think that's an app comparison. Not, not well, classic, game classic Sonic's in that game, Lewis. If the fact though, it's a classic game. My life is just, flawless. Fuck you. It's just in most other in most. This games. level. Can I just say fuck this level the first time you play? Shamar is my least favorite daytime stage. Yeah. Very There's good. so much shit in the way. Yeah. That's what it is. When you run into an object, even a small one, or a person that happens to be standing in the way. <laughs> that would kill someone, like... It would, but, you know, in this game, when it's a, when it's a boosting Sonic and a stationary human being, the human being always wins. Yeah, if their soul is pure, they'll be fine. So what? The Wii version. Ah, I missed. <laughs> no, you're an idiot and a piece of shit, Ted. Uh, yeah. Your favorite game's SA2, go fuck yourself. I, the rivalry that will never end. <laughs> I, I imagine we'll work our way. Or, um, I think I just cut forward to Sonic. <laughs> the Sonic sick of our shit. So <laughs> get a move on. Like these two fucks are fighting again. People? It's Wolverine! That, uh, Death big. Death big. What the? Wait. Big. This, I'm sorry, that, that is almost as bad as the shop owner in 06. Yo. 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 <laughs> Hey. hey. No, you know what? It's it's like it's like they it's like they took that sound effect from Sonic 06 and made a rap out of it. And just there's no, Def Big, Biggie Def, <laughs> Three Puck. Like, in my head cannon, that guy we just saw is the shop owner from 06. He just put on a lot of weight. Yeah, <laughs> times are hard. <laughs> no well, one... you know, Sol Soliana, you had to move out. <laughs> That's the problem when you have a shop that only shows items specific to one person who doesn't live in that city. Yeah. You're not gonna get a, a lot of customers. And don't call it the Sonic store. You're not gonna get a lot of customers, you know? <laughs> well, no, Sonic Man might buy... Might, might buy <laughs> <laughs> so, two, two customers! We have a kind of semi-good Werehog stage to go through. Well, uh, at least I like it. Kind it's of. rooftop run, right? No. Yeah. Although we are running around on rooftops. Really the, tall. The name makes top. sense. I like the name of the Empire City levels, by the way. Skyscraper Scamper. Yeah, it's a great name. It's it great sounds name. like a Donkey Kong Country level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that, that's that's totally fitting because we stole his fur textures. So. Oh yeah, hey, that. <laughs> and away with you. <laughs> <laughs> Empire City has some fucking aggressive as hell construction workers. Their steel beams have fucking <laughs> spikes on the side. We don't want no uh, goddamn way hogs climbing over these things. We're gonna put spikes on them. <laughs> you sure about that, John? Yeah, fuck those way hogs. You also have to, um... 
<laughs> oh yeah, Lewis, uh, seamless, seamless, my friend. <laughs> the reason for that. But Lewis, what I'll say is that because you're on, on the pause menu, you could have literally not done any any type of like edit. You could have just left it, and like no one would have known. But you put, you like purposely put like an edit to show that you had done something. We don't lie to you in Brain Scratch comedy. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why, the reason I did that is that I wanted to remind myself to actually apologize for that. So I'm sorry. Uh, I, I have not had good luck with with technology in, in my time as a commentator. Please make that the the title of your autobiography. I have not had good luck with technology in my time as a let's player. <laughs> oh man, that would be the most boring autobiography ever. Don't let this guy knock you off the side of the building. Don't let this guy knock you off the side of the building. I, I, I can't tell if what Lewis just said was advice for the game or chapters for in his upcoming book. I can't... Like, which... <sighs> Chapter 1. Don't let him throw you off the side of the building! Chapter 2. Don't let him throw you off the side of the building! Okay, Chapter so... 3. I fell off the side of the building! <laughs> Chapter 4. I landed. Oh god damn it. It wasn't oh, worth it. it. No, that was a sun medal. It was totally worth it. Besides, I'm right over here. But I uh, got true. 26 other me's. Me's, me's, me's. <laughs> Lewis, question. Why yeah. why did you keep why did you keep in that last life? Uh, what? Why didn't you edit past the death as well? Why didn't you edit out that pointless death ball? I don't know. I, I don't remember what I was thinking throughout most of the editing <laughs> process. Where Lewis the Werehog doesn't edit. This this was like a year ago, so I don't That'd remember. That'd be amazing if Lewis did really good editing for like the day stage, but he did like fuck all. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. Sega didn't give a damn, neither do I. The lie. world's I ending do. anyway. Yeah, no, you see, John was in charge of editing the day stages, and Ryan was in charge of editing the night ones. I have been oh. better the last like five years. <laughs> Glances sideways at Final Fantasy Nine parts. One that was two. that was one part. <laughs> one part where you left in about ten minutes of level grind. <laughs> Man, fuck you guys. Oh yeah, you can. I'm taking my commentary channel and going home. <laughs> you, you can pick up and throw enemies, by the way. And I did. Did you see that though? Even giving myself the pause buffer wasn't quite enough to actually make that second one. The game's become self-aware of your bullshit, Lewis. Just trying to cut that out. <laughs> that's Al that's Alaris Pardax thinks he's defeated us. We'll fucking show him. <laughs> the theme that they're going for is uh, obviously New York City. Um, if, if it wasn't obvious enough. What? This place is New York? Yeah, it's New York or, or LA. When you run up to a one-inch step, like in front of that door, for instance, Sonic will just keep running, running into the step. Like, he won't go over it. He'll just... <laughs> <laughs> when it when he becomes the werehog, he loses about a thousand IQ points. He's in the negative now. He's in the negative. <laughs> what the hell did those did those tables ever do to you, dude? I don't Attack know, but they had shit. unleashed points in them. The so. service is shit. <laughs> they had unleashed points in them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching this on um like uh, Windows uh, video player, and the, the the progress bar is right in line with the unleashed bar, so it, it makes it look like the unleashed bar is like, covering the entire screen in my video. <laughs> According to the unleash bar, we're only halfway through the video. It's like, jeez, a good lord, Lewis, level this guy up quickly. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's one of these things. Can you stretch your arms? I can't just stretch now on the ledge. <laughs> shut up, Gareth. <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> How dare you thinking, bring logic into Sonic? You're, you're thinking on way too hard. You're the kind of guy who's gonna have shot on sight. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I didn't, even, I didn't even work on this game, but fuck that guy. <laughs> Lewis, it is crazy how much shit they put in this tiny little square. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put one thing here, three things here, and 17 things here. People complain about Banjo Tooie having too much collectibles. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> no, the number of collectibles is the same as in every other level. It's just like they forgot until the last minute that they had a quota to reach, and then they, then they rushed it all out at the end of the level. This is um, literally sir, the end of the level, by like, the way. Sir, should we go back and put more in earlier? It's like, nah, fuck it. Let's put them all in that one square. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta watch the kids today. You can get Lewis, stop punching in him game. in the dick. That's not cool, dude. Lewis, you just crossed the line there, dude. You don't what? punch people in the dick. That ain't cool. Oh, this thing oh has no so dick. if Lewis punches people in the dick, it's not cool. But if Gareth punches Sonic... me in the dick, oh, then <laughs> that's suddenly... hilarious. <laughs> no, no, Sonic the Hedgehog doesn't dick punch. Werehog has yeah. no qualms about that. Exactly. It's, it's, a, it's a movie tagline for Sonic the Werehog. Dicks will be punched <laughs> coming this fall. <laughs> Lands will be boosted, dicks will be punched. <laughs> punched. <laughs> Unleash the movie! Before we leave Empire City behind completely, 
I just want to say, I love how boring America's food is compared to the rest of the food in the game. For a second there, I thought, I thought you were going to say, before we leave Empire City forever, I just want to say I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a walk into the sunset moment? <laughs> well, how credit, can we walk into the sunset now. at midnight? <laughs> you walk into the sunrise, there you go. Ah, there you are. We're a weird commentary channel. <laughs> Welcome back to the Sonic Unleashed commentary, and we're... Oh god, kill me. <laughs> we're headed back to Shamar. We're just talking... <laughs> what the fuck?! <laughs> you bastard, hey, Gareth, Ga Come on. Yeah. Let the thing die, Lewis. <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> He's already dead! Can we impose a new rule for this? Whenever we... Whenever there's not a fight scene... And we actually get the smooth jazz. Can we just be quiet so I can listen to it? No, Gary. I want to listen to it too, but that wouldn't make for good commentary. I don't got uh, fucking battle theme came back again. Jack Shamar on. Knight was the music track I used for the first uh, Flash game I ever made for a school project in the arts. Uh, wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Was it was it, a piece of shit, but the music was good. Was it Sonic <laughs> in a jazz band? Was that the game? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was just a simple left to right. Don't get hurt by anything. It was a school project. Yeah, it was, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's a school project. That's all you gotta say. Well, Octodad was a school project, and that worked out well. <laughs> when, when you're learning animation or game programming or whatever, you're always gonna make something that's slightly crap first because you're just trying to get used to the programming aspect. That's why it's a why it's a student project, and you're not selling it on Steam. Hey, I, I could probably put it on Greenlight. <laughs> Yeah, so this is, I was Johnny, about to say early first, access. Johnny, you have enough fans where you, yeah, people would buy that even if it was complete <laughs> no, shit. No, I wouldn't subject them to that. Super pre-alpha. Yeah. <laughs> Super pre. That sounds like a Street Fighter Super subtitle. But hey, if you if you pre-order pre today, you can have the official Some Call Me Johnny skin for your character where they're bald. <laughs> I think I still have the files in there, uh, too, so... Put it on Steam, Johnny. Yeah, no, I'm not going to put it on Greenlight, but if people are interested, I could make a video about it. Johnny reviews his own Yeah, game. let's do a Brain Scratch commentary over my, uh, my student project. Johnny, no, you have to do a video, Johnny versus Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny versus shit. <laughs> oh, man. Who made this idiot? Oh, okay. Gareth, oh. <laughs> Gareth, we're, we're, we're like sharing brainwaves now. I was just about to say the exact same thing, and you were just a little faster. <laughs> I just want to say, up those stairs, like right over there, is the worst part of this game, bar none. Really? Jesus. Eggman land? It... <laughs> <laughs> the op Should. I guess that might have something to do with the <laughs> <laughs> Ow, that hurt! <laughs> I have to say, the fact that after he did, you see that vroom! It flies over screen, it's hilarious. <laughs> well, that was one way to kill an enemy. I would have Just it. electrocute I us both. I would have loved that, that would have killed you as well. Well, I mean, I don't get why Sonic does, why Werehog Sonic takes damage, because he's made of rubber. How did that happen? Yo ho ho, he took a bite of gum gum. You're not TJ, shut up! I, I still, I love that rap, okay? <laughs> hey, I don't remember any of Boom's music. Yeah, oh, yeah it's another thing if the music seems even memorable. At, le at the very I least in Sonic, that. in Sonic Unleashed case, I can remember. Brin and brin and brin. <laughs> I will say, I think the Shadow Boss has great music. I love that. Show. I only remember the damn temple for the, I guess, the second Chaos Crystal. I just love how you're unironically calling them the Chaos Crystal now. <laughs> But well, that's like, what they are. They, you, know, you know what they are? They are the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog Chaos Symbols, because they all had different shapes and colors in that. The, that the, wait, series. the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog had the Chaos Emeralds in them? Well, there was a there's a four part called the Quest of the Chaos Emeralds, and there was only four emeralds. But the thing that was cool about that was that each emerald did something. It's like one one emerald had the power to like bring like had the power to give life. And there's an episode where wait. It was, yeah. Hang on. This was an Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog thing. Yep. Yes. It, it yes. actually I tried think... to have a story arc. Yep. It's was it any arc. good? For, for, for my money, it's the best episode in the series. It's pretty cool. I like it. I don't know. You can also view it as a precursor to Titan Tales because I remember when Tails <laughs> gets a Chaos Emerald, he gets jacked as shit. And, and it's like, Ken Pender's is like, yes. Use that. Wait, no, wait, aren't you thinking of Turbo Tales? No, 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 no. Titan uh, Tales, where he's, Sonic, where he's huge and buff. In Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, Tails manages to absorb the power of a Chaos Emerald to fight Robotnik, and he gets buff as shit. <laughs> and, like, it's cartoonish, it's, it's played for last. It was just that that could be taken as a precursor to Titan Tales, and that's horrifying. You know what I love is the Whale. Even the, when the Whale's entire body is on fire, just getting his shoes wet fixes him, it's fine. <laughs> His fur is so good, as soon as there's a bit of moisture. Gets what happened to your controller? <laughs> 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 
man, even the controller doesn't want anything to do with this anymore. <laughs> Only exists because by this point in the game, they were running out of time. They were gonna reuse coding from Sonic 06. Lewis, stop trying to fight it when you're in the water, it doesn't work! Now, what he winds up doing is hitting even the lowest obstacle in front of him. Like that curb that goes up to your ankles. Yeah, no, it's like, it's like when you're smoking inside a car and you flick the cigarette out the window, but it hits the window and ends up landing on your lap. You did it up in the window, Jordan. Oh shit! <laughs> I keep on thinking somebody's at my, my fucking on fire. door. At this point, I'm I'm just giving up on water barrels. <laughs> I'm standing in the water and punching him to death. <laughs> this, if I was to do a kind of punk this arbitrary like, come and subscribe top ten like Sonic music tracks, this would easily be my top ten. This is so good. Wait, this would be your entire top ten? No, I said this would be. Yeah, it's just this. At number ten, we have uh, Avid Sad tonight. Number nine, Avid Sad tonight. <laughs> Number eight, what a shock! I was sad tonight. Okay, so where is going to be? Where's SA2? It doesn't matter. Going to be. So you prefer SA2? It doesn't matter over SA1. Yep. It doesn't matter. Yep. Okay, I'm done with this. See that, guys. <laughs> I like both, but. No, I l <laughs> well, no, I, I prefer like SA1 both. over SA2. Yes, but I, I like both. Like, uh, the SA1 version is like one of the best songs ever put in a Sonic game. I freaking love yeah, it. Yeah, then this past Sonic boom, maybe like, oh, he doesn't. Oh really God! Live. I got to meet Tony Harnell. I got a photo of Tony Harnell. I'm so happy. <laughs> So but fucking happy. But he forgot the lyrics of the damn song. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was the best. Lewis, you could just go. It's right there. I could just go, but experience points. <laughs> Johnny, you know when he was like complaining about like the um, like nothing was set up and stuff? Yeah. I, I was just a friend who were like, he's being kind of a diva. I was like, I don't give a fuck, it's Tony on hell. <laughs> yes, Tony, you complain. It, it, you hey, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, doesn't ah! it was during Sonic Boom. He, like, he, <laughs> all he did was join in on the chorus. Yeah. It's like, it's like, um, Sonic Boom! Yeah. <laughs> it's like, if I don't remember the lines, I'll just randomly screen in the microphone. Maybe I'm imagining it, but I can't help but think this hub world runs better during the daytime, and I get it the does. feeling it's because of the werehog's fur. Yeah! <laughs> There's like so many individual layers uh, on it. On Everything's so thing. dense. There's so many layers to the werehog. Yeah. <laughs> like onions. <laughs> werehogs are like onions. <laughs> Ow! And down you go. Ow! Like, again! The, like, again! Like, Ryan, did you do this part? That's like five unpointless steps in this part. What's going on? Oh, you quit blaming me for every editing oh. step, boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, you know what? I left these deaths in because they were hilarious. <laughs> Lock on. God damn it! Lewis, Physics! It, it stop being we're, funny now. Please tell me you edit out. We're not in final chase. We're Physics. not in final chase. <laughs> This is the shortest part, but it contains the most number of pointless left in death. Now, now, we, know what, now we know why it's 12 minutes. <laughs> it would have been 7 minutes if Lewis had edited out everything. <laughs> something like- We. I'm not saying- oh, oh, damn it! Oh, how did I miss it's... that? I'm not, how? I'm not... Counter of dreams, lady. Do you ever leave, or do you just have no legs behind that counter? <laughs> the nuclear taquo. Nuclear. It's nuclear. Pronounced. I always feed this to Chip, at least once a game. Because I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> it's a food item that does absolutely nothing for you. It lowers your friendship rating with Chip. Wait, you might as well can, just kill the robot. You can lower your friendship with Chip by giving it to him? Yeah. That ungrateful little prick. <laughs> like, I bought it. Fuck you, Chip. I'm glad you don't know who you are, you piece of shit. So you like it, right? <laughs> you like it, right? You know what, the, the lighting kind of reminds me of that um, Seaside Hill mission in Generations where you have to like use Roos to seduce robots. <laughs> you know, it kind of yeah, looks like right. that, it looks nice. That's such a fucked up mission, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna program my robots to feel horny, okay? Oh, uh, <laughs> god damn it. Eggman gets lonely, okay? <laughs> yeah, but why would he program his robots to get hard on for Roos for? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, it says some strange things about Eggman when you think about it. It also doesn't make any sense because, as the hero's manual points out, Eggman is himself as a feminist. Yeah, it's like, what's the point of that detail in the context? Because of you know what, he may want to take over the world, and he may want to enslave animals to do his bidding, but he respects women, damn it! No, he just he he wants to take over the world, but he he wants to enslave everybody equally. Let's keep in mind this was way before the current internet uh, yeah. drama. Exactly, Eggman was a feminist before it was cool. He's the original <laughs> feminist hipster. Wait, way before it was cool? You mean back in the early 1900s? Okay. <laughs> Man, Eggman is old. <laughs> well, again, in, his, in the um, in the instruction manual, that says Eggman's age unknown. Eggman could be 2,000 years old. We don't know. We don't know. You can't prove it. <laughs> we 
have no idea what the, what the average lifespan for organisms and Mobius is. We have no idea. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Sonic's world. Yeah. No, but you see, we don't have any idea how, how old Sonic is anymore either. I mean, he had his birthday. Which birthday was it? Just, just say 20XX. 20XX? So, that's over 2,000 years old. Exactly, Eggman. Yeah, there you go. The, the weirdest thing, though, is though, so Vector the Crocodile is, I want to say, 18 or 20. SBO 17. And Charmy is 6. What the fuck are they doing hanging out with a 6 year old? <laughs> It's weird because in Knuckles Chaotix, Chimo was listed as being 16. But in Heroes, they were like, fuck it. He's, he's small, six. he's a kid. <laughs> but the thing is, in, in Chaotix, he was the size of a bee. Like, he was like, to scale. Even though he's bigger now. Uh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah whatever. It's, it's, it's so good. Well, Vector... Wait, what, if we're going by that logic, if we're going to take it at face value, does that mean Charmy shrinks as he gets older? Sure. Everyone freaked out about, like, Boom Knuckles' design, but let's be fair, they did that first to Vector. If you compare his Chaotix design to his design from Heroes onward, it's the yeah, same thing. he's the things. first one that took the air pump to the chest. Short, stumpy legs, buff as fuck chest. Who was attached to Vector's original design, though? Because you gotta remember that, like, three people played Knuckles' Chaotix. <laughs> one person, one different guy designed Mighty, he left Sega, which is why there was all that, like, oh, Sega can't use Mighty ever again, because the guy who designed them left, but Sega just, like, what's the point? they're putting Mighty in because he's basically a Sonic clone. Which, by the way, tune in for Sonic Adventure 2 where we introduce a new character, Shadow. <laughs> right. One of the, the lines the Wayhog says was, I know little girls who are better with a hammer than you. <laughs> which is like a, like a really nice line. Wait, Did so. you guys see those options for Tails? He's actually a she. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's voiced by a she. Well, again, I, 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 think, that's, I think that's an end joke because there's rumors that he was, he was going to be a girl. But then at the last moment, they made him a boy. Wait. And of course, the go, the go back to Adventure Song of the Hedgehog, there's the episode where he turns into a girl with breasts. Wait, what? Yeah. There's an episode of Song of the Hedgehog where they get sucked into different fairy tales. One of them is Hansel and Gretel, and Tails is Gretel. And for some reason, they give him, like, Bruce the Bat S. Cleavage. Isn't Han aren't Hansel and Gretel supposed to be, like, five years old? What? <laughs> Yes, but still, <laughs> this is the world of Sonic the Hedgehog, so they give Tails a ma like a, some big boobies, like, I'm a girl! <laughs> you sure are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Alright then. Uh, uh, Let's just stop this. <laughs> I broke Ted! Success! <laughs> Welcome back to the Sonic Unleashed commentary, and we are fast closing in. On the end of the game, Lewis, I was like, I for a second I thought someone had uh, replaced you. It's like, who is this person and given so much energy into a into an intro on one of these parts? Well, we have Adabat Day, which is the most beautiful jungle slideshow you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> it's the world's greatest PowerPoint presentation. It's great. Uh, when playing the Unleashed project on on a pretty standard PC, you let you play through Adabat and there's no slowdown. It freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't normal. Why does it look so good for? Right. What? <laughs> I can't go in? <laughs> Wait, what? You know, just because you're aware that you use Comic Sans doesn't make it okay. Just because <laughs> want, yeah, just, I'm doing it ironically, no. so what's the difference? I, I, I did that to spite <laughs> you all. Hey, Professor Pickles, what do I need to do now? Well, you need to go to Adabat. I was just in Adabat. We'll go back. <laughs> Lighting is so good, and uh, now yeah. the frame rate. Jesus! Yeah, not, not, not just yet, not just yet. I mean, it got pretty bad there, but. The game's frame rate is. So, oh no! Better so crap right, out! <laughs> you know what's weird? The watch this. It gives me flashbacks of um, The Incredibles, when like Nash is, uh, you know, food through the jungle and it runs on water. You ripped off the Pixar, damn it, Sega! <laughs> Screw you! Pixar did it better. The Incredibles <laughs> didn't have frame rate drops. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> The Incredibles ran at a smooth 24 frames a second. No, high frame rate, lots of action on screen, uh, good, uh, good, good graphics. Effects. <laughs> you know, you yeah. gotta pick two. two. <laughs> pick two. Good cross effects. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Again, PS4 remake of this game, please. Come on. <laughs> you know what? A, a port on the PS4 without the medals. <laughs> yeah. Or the Werehog. You just yeah. give me the Werehog. If I call generations. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been constructed by an amateur who doesn't know how to program in some sort of. Why did you build. boost? I because the boost and the homing attack are on the same button. <laughs> I wasn't blaming you, Lewis. I was just saying, why did you boost? Oh, oh yeah, like from the perspective of the player asking Sonic. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I did. <laughs> you can see why I'm covered in sweat. <laughs> Anime 
face sweat drops everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> now don't boost. I'm oh, sorry, what did you say? Boost? <laughs> no boost. It's, no boost. It's weird. Achievement get. Is it a good achievement? It's an achievement and it increases my gamer score. That's all I care about. Does anybody care about gamer score anymore? I just I just do gamer score to pick up chicks and bars. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you married? Hey, you're married. <laughs> that joke doesn't work on two levels. I'm married. I don't even have a 360. So like, <laughs> both ways. It doesn't make oh, you sense. know what they say about people that have a large gamer score. <laughs> Um, they, they, have, they don't they, have time for you. They just, yeah, they, yeah, they don't. Have, they don't they, have time for you. Yeah, they, <laughs> they don't. You know, in some way, you could look at this as like some sort of seriously metal version of a special stage in Sonic Two. <laughs> yeah. You know, at this is the cutscene where Chip finds out who he is. But for for this entire game, in the cutscenes, it's subtle, but Chip has been using his kind of necklace to kind of make the Gaia temples extend the um slot to put the Chaos Emeralds in. And at what point does one of these characters go, huh, it's kind of weird how your necklace does that? In the first cutscene where he does that, it happens by accident, and he's surprised. But yeah. there's never at any point a scene where they talk about this and question it and think, exactly. oh, maybe if we keep going this way, we'll find out more about you, Chip. His memory is kind of, a, as a plot point, it's kind of abandoned, like, after, like, the second boss fight. There's like, oh, yeah, whatever, just gonna go do some more. The Chip's here. Chip's yeah. gonna do something funny. And, and, <laughs> he's, gonna, <laughs> he's gonna turn to a ghost again. Yeah. Hey Sonic, I remember it, all of it. Now let's wait till we get back to the business before I tell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're gonna tell me? There's no time. I stand by that. We gotta it go look at matter, the sunset. Sonic. Nothing matters. It's always the way where like the evil force is like a giant planet-sized monster, and the light side is a fucking tiny two-foot flying chihuahua. That's it's kind of mismatched here, really, isn't it? Let's be fair. Well, just look at Pokemon. All the good legendaries are the small, cute ones, and all the <laughs> evil ones are the monstrous floaty ones <laughs> this tail looks like a damn meat bun um i think entei is a good guy he was in Entei's that I, he was in that third movie that i actually have never yeah. watched <laughs> the only thing i remember about that movie is james brilliant dating line <laughs> wait what <laughs> i haven't seen this many strange letters since i last opened up a personal ad <laughs> <laughs> i love this part yeah yoink where the fuck do you think you're going <laughs> it's past your curfew <laughs> You, you owe me for those hot dogs I gave you, you piece of shit. Now, pay yeah. up. now eat your nuclear taco. <laughs> <laughs> nuclear. But I don't want to eat it. It's gross. It's you it's like nuclear. it, right? <laughs> I've heard horror stories of Eggman Land. Like, I heard that stage goes on for like an hour. My if first he... time was 74. Wait. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, what John you doing? Scrub the stage. Spot. Hey, let me know anything. If I was a Sonic character, I'd be Johnny the Scrub. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like a scrub brush, I guess. <laughs> I'd be sucked the cock. <laughs> and in the ending, the uh, kind of ending credits, um, so cuts in the place at the end of the credits, there's there's a dialogue between Sonic and Amy where Sonic's explaining what the story of Black Knight, and Amy just goes, you know, that's complete, that's complete nonsense. You just you just forgot about our date. Well, I yes. like the theory that the entire story of Sonic uh, Black in the Black Knight is just him bullshitting up a reason why he forgot when he really just overslept or something. <laughs> 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 so I was I was eating chili dogs and then a, 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 I'm a king magical. Off. There was a, a genie. A genie. There was a genie. There was a genie. You said that last time. I mean, a wizard. It's a wizard. Listen, it was time. a wizard this time. <laughs> a wizard did it. A wizard did it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's funny because at the beginning of Secret Rings, you actually do start out with Sonic sleeping on the couch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it all connects. <sighs> First part we have to go through is a fucking tornado stage. You know that energy that you mentioned, uh, like last part? It's all gone it, now, isn't it? It's yeah, gone. <laughs> it, it's gone. It, 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 it's just not here. Okay, I forgot to put a landing gear in. Eggman's been talking about this fucking place since Adventure One, I think. Well, actually, that was Robotnik Land. Completely different. Oh, okay. completely different. You're, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you do realize that the picture that Chip did was the equivalent of doing the Heil Hitler in front of a Nazi statue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's how Eggman. It's fine. <laughs> when they were hacking um, generations, modern Sonic's file name is Generic Sonic, which, which you know some people like. Even even Sega can't stand him. You know. Yeah, it's they're not... broken up into segments. This is one well, giant. You've got level. Thirty-nine if you, lives. If you lose, yeah, and you know what happens if you run out of those thirty-nine lives? You suck. You have to start over. You suck. At the beginning. <laughs> Scrub. And no, 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 Eggman Land, you totally have an excuse to game over here. Until you get to those segments where they just keep feeding you lives after a checkpoint, it's like, we know it's bullshit. 
But instead of making it less bullshit, we're just gonna give you a life after every checkpoint. You, you wanna know what makes this uh, Werehog section in this level tolerable? You can just run past the enemies. What? Look at them. <laughs> yeah. Got back. <laughs> yeah, what would have made Eggman land awesome if they had some of the MPA announcements from Sonic Colors? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that would be awesome. That would have been fantastic. Yeah. Would Sonic, Sonic the Werehog please come to security? Sonic the Werehog? Uh, this is my least favorite part of the Werehog. Oh. These fucking pipes. God. Where's the Mario Brothers when you need them? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, for our I hear plumbing's their game. No. <laughs> it's the Skippellies. <laughs> it's the Skippellies run. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the uh, Eggman Land Knight um, track is is really good. Yeah. Well, actually, I think this is also the only stage where the battle theme doesn't play when you fight enemies. Yeah. Best level in the game. Best level <laughs> in Fuck the game. Yeah. That's also what helps make the Werehog more tolerable here, actually. But uh, you know. look at this dramatic no, shot of Sonic jumping down the jumping down that tube while. Pausing every couple of seconds. No, I think it, I think it would have been. I, I think. Anybody know what the speed run record for Eggman Land is? Uh, I want to say with major two minutes. With, yeah, two Wait. minutes. <laughs> and they're, and they're, I'm guessing that's glitch tastic. The major level skips. I think like the, the the speed run ignores all the warehog sections. The speed run renders half the level invisible. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Shortcut time. If you fail this too many times, it blocks you with a laser. So you have three shots. And he screwed it up. Yeah. Get good, scrub. What? Why? I have to turn into the werehog. Uh, I just, I can't. I have to end it. What is with that chip on that? What's up? What chip on that loading screen? I Wait, why does Skype standing on that. top of a of a spinning blade hurt you? It's a very slow spinning that, blade. It's like standing on the side of spikes. No. Oh God. So when I use my spiky shoes to stand on long spikes, it hurts. Got it. Thanks, no, they're not even long the spikes. It's, it's just a piece of metal that you're standing on. The, the, the fan is made of silver. And Sonic's a werewolf. Ah. Uh, I oh, like how that, 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 that cuts you along and you weren't taking damage. Okay, you know what? I can I can handle the obnoxious level design, but getting pushed by a blade and not taking damage—that's the final straw. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The area I skipped is actually a really platforming tastic werehog section where y you have to make. Oh wait, no, I didn't skip it. It's right here. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck my life. That's just that's just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took me a while to realize you could break those down. I thought they were a hazard. Like, don't touch the wall. It's pink. Stay yeah, away. It's pink. It's glowing. I oh can't God, get in here. Oh pink wall. Oh, now you decide Sweet to come in and swing at me, huh? Is this your switch? Is this your fucking switch? I was just distracted at that Lewis keeps punching this poor guy in the dick over <laughs> Again, dicks will be punched. <laughs> Johnny, it's funny because that, that dick, dicks will be punched. No joking, would have fit in the um, trailers for Shadow the Hedgehog. The taglines for that were like, rules will be broken, <laughs> truths will be revealed, dicks will be punched. Wait, Shout hold the on, if I know... Yeah, get rid of the fucking wizard. Kill this first in, Lewis, where are you playing at, boy? He's like in Kingdom Hearts, you always have to go for the healers first, because they're annoying little pieces of shit. I didn't realize it was happening, though. The cameras pointed down, and I couldn't see the other enemies. Don't make excuses to me, Sunshine! You see how Medic and Arkham Knight, you hunt down that fucker first. Those are the most annoying guys. <laughs> hey, you know, rules of warfare, the medics were off limits, guys. <laughs> no. There is no Geneva <laughs> There are no there are no Geneva Conventions. <laughs> yes. There are no war rules in Arkham Knight. Sonic the Hedgehog did not sign an official declaration of war, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck it was. They punched me first. They dick punched me. <laughs> they dick punched me first. <laughs> Well, unleash mode. Unleash it, Lewis. Well, get rid of the wizard first, and then unleash your inner beast. Then unleash your inner dick puncher. Yeah. <laughs> dick puncher needs to be a metal song now. I've, I've declared it, so it must be so. Five finger dick punch. Please get the goddamn door. <laughs> it's just been here for an hour. But you're too busy playing Eggman cool. Land in order to get it. <laughs> here in 30 minutes or less, they say, Okay, I've got oh, enough sweet. time to finish a Sonic. The level, level. is done! <laughs> Mercy! Hey! Everyone, a round of applause for Lewis. I was going to say, Lewis, in between these parts, we would John, we watched that, that you know, world record uh, Eggman Land um, speedrun. That could have and, been improved, mind you, because he got yeah. hit like three times. <laughs> Well, it says that Lewis, like, compared to it, man, you're a scrub. Okay, you got an ice on, you're a scrub. It's terrible. Yeah, on the other hand, 
I have a life. Well, <laughs> did that guy get an S for time bonus? That's what you get, Tails, for face time and then flying, you piece of shit! Pay attention to the road! It's like Battle of the Frame Rates here. Eggman's 30 and, and, and Unleash is, and, and like, Werehog is 12. <laughs> My frame rate is 30, you cannot hope to win. And that just proves that Eggman's mustache is superior to the Werehog. Werehog's arm fuzz. Yeah, my mustache was rendered <laughs> properly, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'll be back in the next game, you won't fuck you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they spent time on my model. <laughs> Is this why the hedgehog has cleats? To make yeah. it make sense that he sticks close to this one platform and nothing else in the game. Not to mention how. Is he that Eggman just talks shit while you're ripping the machine? He was like, this is a delicate machine, you piece of shit. Wait, he just <laughs> gained like health. That. Did, is that because. Yeah. Because Lewis screwed up. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure what I did. I think I might have accidentally hit the wrong button. It said press A 10 times. <laughs> you fucked that <laughs> up. <laughs> the ground's well, gone. Don't. Yeah, Chip, the ground already broke up, you idiot. Stay. <laughs> Stay focused, Chip, stay focused. I like it better when you're a Chip. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid light guy. <Kyle. laughs> you got your memory back and turned to an idiot. You can fly, Chip, you idiot! What are you fucking worried about? Where the hell even is he anyway? Is he just like hidden in Sonic's ass? That, that this is a glorious finish. Yep. That you're gonna pop or... buffer all the way through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my favorite part of this is like when Sonic jumps up to the cockpit and gets ready to slam it in slow motion. You can see Eggman saying, "No, don't do it." I have a wife and kids. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Team Eggman's blasting off again. He'll be back, like immediately after. Yeah, he's like literally like, like next to him in the next cutscene. Yeah, cut scene like, that didn't happen. <laughs> I also think the next cutscene is when we get a clearer shot of his Dreamcast inside the cockpit. There it is, there. Dreamcast. Yeah. Yeah. With and it next to it is literally it's a game. It's the it's SA one of Eggman on the cover, not Sonic. <laughs> Eggman Adventure. <laughs> I also like how that temple there is blatantly shaped like a giant hand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time to start the Power Rangers theme song as we're gonna get our own giant mech out of temples. <laughs> you guys realize how many like complete civilizations were just like completely buried Psh to the ground? Damn you, Ultron! You did it again. <laughs> No more casualties than when the fucking Earth split into seven pieces. Gaia Temple Megazord activate! <laughs> go Blue Ranger, go! I like how there's a temple that's entirely dedicated to just being an entirely useless test chess piece. Just like a Megazord. I know. No, that's what you can see in the dark, stupid. <laughs> that's where his arc reactor is, so that the Gaia <laughs> Temple doesn't die. <laughs> There's one yeah. thing that legitimately freaks me out, though, about these, is that if you do collide with the meteor, the smoke seems to form a face. It's Galactus from Fighting yeah. Super Sova. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so much more fun than the Wii version compared to this. Uh, did you see that? I hit the, I hit the, the finish line just before he threw rocks The fades of black face. saved your life. Yeah. He also doesn't know how to use his hands. <laughs> uh, well, no, he finally no, remembered. Yeah, there you go. Hawk! Hawk! <laughs> Pucker up. Brother, give me a kiss. <laughs> I missed you so much. That fat man awoke woke me up too early. <laughs> I'm cranky now. <laughs> Zoom, my Dark guy is getting ready to do something, and I don't think I'm gonna like it. <laughs> Sonic is repeatedly homing, attacking a giant eyeball. Yeah, it kind of makes me wince just looking at it. Anytime where something goes for an eye and they get graphic about it, it's like, I don't like anything going for my eyes. That's like, ah, no, no thanks. I need those to see, thank you. That's what. That's why I wear glasses, not because I need them, it's just protection for my eyes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, eye you, you want to shield it against very tiny hedgehogs. <laughs> <laughs> and small pink marshmallows throwing glass at it, fuck you, Kirby. So, you, you know that... Because out of nowhere, that, that gave you... Lewis, that gave you no time to respond to that's bullshit. So, like, you could, um, just straight wait, up... What, wait, on. what happened there? You somehow hit it? <laughs> hey, fuck your rocks. <laughs> They're not really there if I close my you eyes. Know. The rocks aren't working. Let me try more rocks. <laughs> Dark guy looks a lot further away than he actually is. And is that just makes it seem like the rocks, when he throws them, pop in in front of you. Yeah, Jesus! They, they really... Dark guy has a really good you know, instant throw. That like slows down. You know, he's on the, he's the pitcher on the Sonic Final Boss baseball team. Uh... <laughs> Instead of throwing one ball, he throws five. 
Hey, no meat ears around. Yeah, perfect chaos is designated hitter. Don't ask how that works, it just is. <laughs> <laughs> Bio Lizard is bull boy. <laughs> nah, you see, perfect chaos is designated hitter, but it's actually Froggy who does the work. <laughs> Froggy's the manager. <laughs> For the villains team? Oh, okay. Well, perfect. You, yeah, I guess perfect. Yeah, just the mascot. Me Metal Sonic's first space, because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> the villains baseball team. <laughs> it's like, I'm on my way, Chip. Shut up. How are they hearing each other? Come on, come on. I'm almost there. You are running Boost. on the temple. Oh, fuck. Now I'm dead. Now you're still alive, but you're... Oh, no. Nope. The fade Night. to white killed me. And fade release. To white. Fade to white. Why can't I go home? I want a chili dog. Yeah, I want a chili oh, dog. Are we done now? <laughs> I'm going to assume the only people who can see this are the people from the hub worlds that we've already gone to, because <laughs> the, those are the only cities on the planet. <laughs> Nobody we haven't met will give a fuck Where's out. creepy? Where's creepy faced girl from Sonic Adventure 2? What is her reaction to all this? <laughs> Speaking of creepy girls. This Professor Pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Pickle sounds straight up Yugi here. <laughs> Time to do the duel! We must settle our differences in a game of duel monsters. I summon Gaia Colossus in defense mode. <laughs> it's been said before, but like, one of my favorite mods in generations is the fucking Professor Pickle mod. <laughs> Pickle Unleashed. The store for the Pickle cucumber Unleashed. sandwiches is going to close in five minutes. Pickle <laughs> go! <laughs> Gotta speed up! Spoiler alert loading screen, we didn't know that Super Sonic was gonna be in this game. <laughs> <laughs> My immersion's ruined. I don't even like sand. <laughs> <laughs> and look, look at that blood! Beautiful! That looks like Must. Nickelodeon slime. <laughs> the way the eye has that sort of glowing red slit really is just asking for Resident Evil jokes. Now, because the care symbols have left these Gaia temples, shouldn't the temples not fall apart? <laughs> Shut up, Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> This is the part where you push buttons because they, the screen tells you to. It's not interactive. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, like, quick time events are kind of like those kind of DVD mini games they put on like DreamWorks movies. <laughs> you know, like it's kind of as I said, it, it's really it's not immersive. It kind of really takes you out of the gaming experience. But Lewis, please tell me you pause for every one of these. Yeah. <laughs> There's only one thing I really don't like about the Perfect Dark Guy boss battle is that it's how you finish it. You head straight for the mouth, but while doing so, you clearly clip through his thumb. <laughs> what? Yeah. All right, shining reference. Hey. Yep. <laughs> Johnny, that, that's not a clip. And as we see, Sonic just goes through his eye. He's went through his thumb. All right, that's what happened. <laughs> and look, look at the look at that face. But I love how jacked up. Perfect that guy's face is bleeding everywhere. Yeah. It's pretty dark for a Sonic game, you know, I kinda like it. And then he sinks into a into an ocean of lava. No, no, that's yeah, not deadly. Bowser survives that like every other week. Yeah. <laughs> but Bowser doesn't bleed yet. <laughs> Tell me, do you bleed? Oh oh wait, hold on, I have a theory. The the green shields in, in, in the classic Sonic games were actually Gaia energy. Formed by Chip. Put... Yeah, I just got to ask you to shut the fuck shut up. Shut up! <laughs> My fanfiction will explain it all. I, you'll see. <laughs> you'll all Leave see. game theory to well, game you know, theory. Oh, it's just dialogue from Kingdom Hearts. What the fuck is this shit? We need darkness along with the light. Darkness gives us sleep. Darkness, okay. darkness, darkness, darkness. All right, Sora, shut up. No one cares. I can think of the true villain of the game is Aeon Norton. It's like, fuck us. He's everywhere. <laughs> I love all of these these like prophecies and shit about balance when you always when it's always balance is light winning. Okay, sure. <laughs> like, you know, in Star Wars, maybe balance was the Jedi Order getting fucked up the ass. Who knows? It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's yeah like, it was. Why would you want to bring balance to the Force when you're the one in charge? <laughs> I like the way that the scene goes where Chip returns Sonic back to the surface. He just chucks Sonic up through the Earth's crust. Yeah. <laughs> he puts it on his thumb and just flicks him up. See, in the in the in the reverse, in the uh, heroes baseball team, the guy I caught a seam is the pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger than the baseball field. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, light guy, give him a thumbs up as you descend into the lava. <laughs> I need a vacation. <laughs>
So he, he, here's my question: what, what what happens if someone does this again? Well, the, um, shit. Okay. <laughs> we just do it all over again. Yeah. We don't have the guy at temples anymore. Yeah. People will build new ones. Hey, it's funny because that's how it happened at the beginning Wait, of the game. He was down, and then he went up. And then he went down again. Uh, yes, John, that's called gravity. And there's yeah, 11 yeah. minutes left, guys. 11 minutes left. I like Wait, it. I, I think the orchestral version's better. I see. I, I would agree with you if it was an actual orchestra and not fake instruments. No, that, it, that kind it, of no they're it real me. instruments. It, they're not. No, they're, it, they're not. no it's, it's synthesizer. Are you they're sure? <laughs> Reach for the Stars orchestral wasn't actually orchestral either. <laughs> nope. Uh, it, 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 no, it, yeah, in terms of, of the... Um, like the, the like uh, it wasn't a, leg a legitimate orchestra, not no, it, it, everything it, 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 I know is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> the song that plays after is probably the most boring thing I've heard out of a How Sonic. How I love Dear My Friend. I get a lot of emotion out of Speak uh, Speak to Your Heart, uh, but you know that's. I'm not a big fan of that song myself. But Wait, you don't you like? Just... What the hell, Gareth? <laughs> well, see, you, <laughs> you, you two are just polar opposites. <laughs> see, I'm gonna bring fi things down for a little bit. Um, my one of my grandmothers died around the time of this game came out, Aww. and so so that's why I like this song. Oh, okay. I just I just equated it. So now you feel like a piece of shit, don't you, Ted? Uh, okay, I can. You know what? To be honest, I can I can completely understand for that because there's actually I have a similar thing with a specific part of Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. Kind of uh, hits me in the same sort of way, so I can understand. Yeah. That. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, the memories attached to a piece of music can really stick with you. Another thing in terms of, of this game and, and music, it's, it's, a, it's a weird thing, but well, the, the moment when I realized I wanted to marry Carrie, I was listening to the first Tornado track. <laughs> so, like, whenever, whenever I looked down and looked at my weathering, I said, do 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 Man, you know, I I hope I hope you played that at your wedding. Just had someone with a pipe organ playing that exact sheet music. As you walk down the aisle. God help us if any of the rest of us ever get married, because it's gonna be the most nerdy fucking thing, I think, ever. Like Again, nothing nothing will beat for me. Kerry walking down with the um like orchestral uh great fairies fountain theme. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that picture of Chip with that lollipop. That's hilarious. Eggman themed lollipops, I want one. For me this was when Sonic turned around from falling down the <laughs> dark dark <laughs> spiral. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even then, I still think the potential hasn't exactly been reached. And Generations got multiple pathways down pat, but I would love to see design like that with original aesthetics, and not so much with anniversary. What's what? Wait, what's that? You, you you want a completely different gameplay style, John? No, no, no. <laughs> no okay, <laughs> all right, come on, bring in the. You want you want parkour, Johnny? <laughs> That's what he wanted, gentlemen. It's like they don't speak the same language as me. <laughs> <laughs> Support our Patreon. Yeah, it's a <laughs>